Shapiro and Wilkes, they have introduced a test to test the assumption of normality in the data. Dear students, most of the parametric tests that assume that the sample you have drawn from a certain population, it must follow the normality. So, if normality assumption is met, then we can apply those uh, uh, formal parametric tests. So, um, uh, the Sh Shapiro, he has developed the test independently, but later uh, the uh, Wilkes, uh, that was a, a statistician who have also developed the uh, test for normality and it was named after them as being Shapiro-Wilkes test because both of them they almost concluded the same uh, uh, procedure for testing the normality of the data. So, um, I will be uh, further informing you that what would be the requirement of the Shapiro-Wilkes test and how we can use this test, what, what would be the procedure to test the data using Shapiro-Wilkes test. So, students Shapiro and Wilkes, they developed this test to uh, test the goodness of fit for the normality of the data. So, if you have a sampled data that you have drawn from a certain population, your objective may be to test the normality of the data because after testing the normality of the data, you would have to further uh, uh, test that data for those formal parametric tests that you uh, can use later on the basis of the normality of the data. If you uh, just compare the Shapiro-Wilkes test with the Lily Force test of normality that may also be used to test the normality of the data. So, students, uh, most of the uh, statisticians, they have assumed that Shapiro-Wilkes test is more powerful compared to the Lily Force test of normality. And if uh, you consider various software, especially if we talk about SPSS, then SPSS uh, uh, makes use of the SWO test and it is considered to be more powerful uh, to compute the normality for the given sampled data. So, students, um, uh, the uh, Shapiro-Wilkes test would assume that the data consists of a random sample of observations x1, x2 and xn that are associated with some unknown cumulative function because we uh, don't know about the parameters of the population. They are assumed to be unknown to us because we would have certain data sets where we can assume that the uh, population parameters are usually unknown to us. So, for that purpose, if we have a data that we have drawn from uh, the population for which the parameters are not uh, known, then we can make use of SW test to test the normality of the data. Uh, before applying the SW test in order to test the normality of the sample data, we would follow uh, an assumption that is your the sample observations must be random in nature. So, if, if your sample is consider, considered to be normal, uh, a random sample, then you can test it for normality. The procedure uh, that I've outlined for Shapiro-Wilkes test for normality is that uh, the first thing you need to calculate is the, is to design the pair of hypothesis. So, under H0, we are assuming that f of x is the normal distribution function with the unspecified mean and variance. Step 2, we choose for level of significance, which is usually being taken as 5% or 1%, but it depends on the situation or the data you are dealing with. Step number 3 is the test statistic. Uh, the procedure for test statistic is that first we need to compute the denominator part of our test statistic. So, denominator is being denoted as D, which is calculated as some of the uh, scare of deviations that are being taken from the sample mean, where X bar is the sample mean. Then, once we have calculated this difference, the denominator, then we need to arrange our data from smallest to the largest observation. So, students, this is the ordered array that we have to make up for the sample data. Out of this uh, ordered uh, sample data, the array that we have developed by arranging the values from smallest to the largest, we would have to calculate xi 
which is the ith order statistics students usually when we arrange the data from smallest to the largest so this particular part is known as the order statistic because the data is being ordered so we need to pick up this xi from that order statistics and for the from shapiro wilkes table for the observed sample size n we need to obtain the coefficients a1 a2 so on up to ak where k is approximately n by 2 yani students agar aapke paas total 20 observations hain to aapko 10 total coefficients milenge shapiro wilkes table se you would have to take them as it is once you have picked up the coefficients then aapne un coefficients ko multiply karna hai with the corresponding डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू ऑर्डर स्टेटिस्टिक और वो क्या है एक्स आई रेस टू एन माइनस आई प्लस वन माइनस एक्स आई दैट यू वुड चूज फ्रॉम योर सैम्पल्ड ऑर्डर्ड ऑब्जर्वेशन वंस यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड दिस डिफरेंस फॉर ईच एंड एवरी ऑर्डर्ड वैल्यू यू नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई इट विद द क्रिस्पॉन्डिंग कोफिशियंट दैट यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम द एस डब्ल्यू टेबल ऑफ कोफिशियंट इन सबको मल्टीप्लाई करने के बाद क्रिस्पॉन्डिंग कोफिशियंट से you would have to sum up that column then upon squaring that particular column that you have calculated dividing it with the denominator you would obtain the value of w now students here i have denoted it as w if you just consider your textbook of conover so conover has suggested this formula as being t3 but in some other text you may find that it is being denoted as w so usually it is also named as w test so after completing the test statistics and upon calculating the w you would have to design critical region because here we need to compare the critical value with that of the computed value so we'll be rejecting h not at alpha if a w is less than the alpha quantile that you will obtain from the shapiro wilkes quantile table सो so, अगर आपकी डब्ल्यू की वैल्यू स्टूडेंट्स लेस रहती है आपके अल्फा क्वांटाइल डेट यू विल ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम शपीरो विल टेबल देन यू नीड टू रिजेक्ट योर नाल अदरवाइज यू विल एक्सेप्ट योर नाल